guys, what's up? Shadow here. Welcome to We Are Sunday. Today we are playing a game called Odyssey VR. Odyssey, Odyssey, Odyssey VR, the Deep Space Expedition. And before I start with this, um, two things I really want to talk about real quick. One, I opened a Steam Curator page where I will try to review pretty much every game that I play on VR Sunday from now on. Fourth, I also put in some reviews from older games, which I really liked. But I really try to do this on a more regular basis, these reviews, because I think it's actually a good idea for... So other people who do not watch these videos can also profit from somebody who has played the game, so they can take a look at it. And two, disclaimer, I got this game for free to do a review on. So... Just keep that in mind, please. I got this for free, I didn't pay anything for this, so there we go. So now, what this is VR, um, as you can see, you can choose VR device or desktop PC. You can play this via without VR goggles. So if you like this game and you don't have VR goggles, you can still get it, right? But this is a VR device review, obviously. So now, here, let's see, we have an objective. No, we don't, uh, quick navigation, exit game. Well, perhaps this is not active yet, but let's try to... Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. Uh, how... Oh, there we go. That's how we move. I don't know if you can see this on the control where my thumb position is, but this is how you move. Right. Um, well, these are not really the, the controllers that I have. These are Rift controllers, but I... Oh, they're the Vive controllers. Perfect. Teleport? Oh, probably. Oh, there we go. So when you turn screen, you can teleport. Got it. Okay. Oh, there's also a voiceover. It's a bit... A little bit quiet compared to the music, but... Oh, shoot. Well, probably we don't have any shooting weapons yet. If I had to guess. Oh, select the device. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's select the VR device. Oh! Oh Jesus! Great. This was a small step for scientists, giant leap for mankind. Teleport here. So yeah, that's how we do this with with the left trigger, teleporting all over the place. Okay. New game. There are several hey. greenhouse incubators that sustain life on this mothership. One is just next to you, and one is downstairs. Please take a few moments now to locate your nearest greenhouse. All right. In some cases, your nearest greenhouse may be behind you. If we need to evacuate the mothership, please proceed to the main gate and use the partly inflatable slide that will guide you to the next available spaceship. Right. So, what this game is about, or what I have read about this game is um, basically we as mankind destroyed our planet well why why wouldn't we I mean that's totally what we're doing so um, basically we evacuated into space into this spacecraft here and now we're trying to find a new planet and it's our job to kind of protect this ship and make sure we get there right so I guess we're going to go over here and you can play this in multiplayer but um, when I started the game, it said something about no other players online right now. So I suppose we'll just create a new game. Hey! Welcome on board, scientists. Please proceed to the gate at once so that you may begin exploring the ship. All right. So for some reason right now, I cannot move, but I can teleport, so... Oh, okay, so now I can teleport anywhere. Very good. Oh, look at that. So this is our spaceship. I think it's called the Odyssey. That's... Oh, yeah. There we go. Odyssey. Oh, look at that. Something is docking. Wow. That spaceship looks really cool. That looks fancy as hell. <laughs> All right, let's go. I, I wonder, I've seen some videos, what you have to do. Great, please follow the instructions during your missions. All right, I will try. 
to the best of my abilities. Floor plan. Oh, there's some weird bloom here. I don't know if you can see that. If I teleport, it, it looks fine for a second, but then it like blooms up and it's very hard to actually read. It's counted down. I'm not quite sure what it counted down to. Oh, there we go. There's a health bar over here. Press start game after all players have joined. This game is called, well, obviously. Oh, now it actually looks okay. So we have gun, cockpit, gun two. I am here, so I'm close to gun two, I suppose. Secondary floor, first floor. Well, I guess we'll just start the game and see what this is about. Welcome on board Odyssey Space Explorer. Ready. Please enjoy your stay. This ship is now moving. Quick navigation. Oh, can we teleport with this? Asteroid field detected straight ahead. Oh no! Use the ship guns and control the ship to avoid taking damage. Uh, okay. Gun one. Oh yeah, you can totally like quick. Try. Nice picture there. Oh. Fire. Um. Oh, there we go. Space guns! Oh. Woo! <laughs> All right, it's very easy to control. You basically just look around, and then with um, right trigger you shoot. It's actually very accurate the way you're you're aiming. Feels very natural. You just look at the thing and then fire. You don't have to point or anything like that. You just go there and make peel 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 with the asteroids. I mean that's. I think would be the most efficient way, like in the future, if you think about it. Would that be the most efficient way you, to aim, I, I suppose? Oh, there we go, storm duration. I suppose we have to get over here and survive, and then we're through this asteroid storm, right? Oh, yeah, look at that. Our ship. Well, I suppose with several players, you now would have players at different gun stations firing. I can see that. I can see how this works in multiplayer. You know, um, maybe not the best comparison, but if you think about like Gun Guns of Icarus, you know that that game with the flying airships, um, where people mount different guns. Some people are repairing stuff. Oh, whoops! Now I, I clicked on that. There we go. I can totally see how this works. So we're halfway through the storm. Our health is still in good condition. By which all things with mass are brought to one another. Oh yeah, 23 asteroids destroyed. Whoa, that's a biggie. <laughs> it's heading right for us! It seems like the smaller splinters don't need to be destroyed. It seems like they're very inconsequential. Like these things here. They don't seem to really impact, so... It's only the big ones, or the ones that um, initially launch at you. The rest you don't have to care about. And I guess, for example, this one would completely miss us anyway. Yeah. It's actually kind of weird. Most of them seem to miss us. Or maybe this is one of the easier stages, so that's why. That one could hit us. Woo, that was close. <laughs> now, a question you might have is, um, what about motion sickness? Um, right now, not so much. Um, I think the reason for that is that even though we're moving, you have a very static background and you don't really see movement that much. I have the feeling if you would see the stars moving and stuff like that, you would get a bigger sense of motion and that would actually cause motion sickness. But right now, not so much a problem. Hold on, can we, like, go to Gun 2 real quick? Where's Gun 2? Gun Control. Let's see, where's Gun 2? Oh, Gun 2 is like on the wing or something. This was our first gun up there. I see. Yeah, I think we're going to Gun 1 for again. I think that one is better. And I would assume Gun 3 would be on the wing as well, on the other one. Yes. Oh yeah, over there. Very, very good. All right, over 50 asteroids. Asteroid destroyer machine. This game has a lot of achievements. So, 
th to me, for some reason, games with a lot of achievements always like suggest to me that there is at least somewhat of content there, you know? But, we'll see. I wonder what, what's up with this. Yay! Alright, asteroid, asteroid survivor geologist. Okay, let's see. Um, fire! What? Locate the fires! What? Oh, I have an actual... Uh, okay. Where's the fire? Could we have a bit of... Oh. <laughs> there we go! Fire! <laughs> By the boat, obviously. Is there more fires? Find the fires. Yeah, apparently so. Uh, oh, there's still smoke. <laughs> Did the ships just say, ouch? <laughs> Where are the fire? Oh, there's another one. <laughs> oh, whoa. I just walked into the wall there. Um, are there more fires? Apparently so. Let's go up another floor. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Hey, come on. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh... Let's see, where is the other- oh, there's another fire! Whoa! How did that work? Oh, I accidentally walked into, like, a hat, uh, a teleportation thingy. Uh... Damn it, I, I'm not quite sure where the other fires are. Uh... There- okay, we got that one! Damn it! Let's see, where do we go? Cockpit? The fire is damaging the ship. I know! Stop! It's actually kind of hard to locate these fires. When are you getting... Oh, up there! Okay, okay, uh, we need to go to the second floor. Turn around. There it is! Huh? How did that work now? Why am I now down here again? Hold on. Oh, is the line on the floor? Is it guiding me? That could be, right? All the fires have been extinguished. Oh, thank God. Oh, no, the line is... I don't know what the line is supposed to be. Maybe there's a line on the floor. Oh, yeah, there's everywhere. Asteroid the field detected straight ahead. Use the ship gun and control the ship to avoid taking damage. All right. We'll do that again, then. So I guess there's like several mini games, so to speak, and you will have to see how far you progress with uh, your ship, because my damage, you can see on the, the left side there, the damage does not, uh, uh, the health does not increase again, so, oh god! So yeah, um, I guess there's like a definitive end to this, either Maybe if you reach your destination, I'm not sure if how how far we need to travel for this, or if you get destroyed. It's a very finite game, I suppose. But we'll see. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, it continues the the count from before. 72 asteroids. So you can like. Have competitions. Who destroys the most asteroids? We can also see controlling gun one. That's good. We can see which one, who, which gun you're controlling. I wonder if somebody is in the cockpit. If he can steer the ship a little bit. We have to try that afterwards. The cockpit. What that? What that does? And I wonder what kind of variety there is in in um, like these mini games. Now we have seen asteroids. Oh, oh my. Oh my, I think it just crashed. That's not good. That is not good. <laughs> oh boy. Let's start that again. Oh man, okay. I hope that was random, but um... That does not bode well. <laughs> well, we'll see. Also... It's a bit awkward for, if you started from VR, um, there is like a little pop-up, um, like a, a configuration screen that pops up before you start the game, so you actually have to c um, confirm manually before you get into the game. So, 
I wonder, the one with the walking, why, why couldn't I walk before? Now I can only teleport again, why is that? And now we're here again, so... Huh. That's kinda... weird. So yeah, okay, so we're, here we're going again to our... Um, to the spaceship, basically, back again. But I assume this is going to be the same thing again, right? So yeah, yeah, it's now like creating the game or it's, it's loading the game, however you want to call this. And now... Oh! There we go. Welcome on board Odyssey Space Explorer. Yes. Enjoy Let's go stay. to the cockpit real quick. Let's see. Oh, oh my. Oh, this looks... This looks Asteroid field very complicated. Use the ship guns and control the ship to avoid taking damage. I like that you have like these several of these uh, monitors and whatnot. That looks very fancy. Fire. I'm not 100% sure what I'm supposed to do now. I can see all the ship guns from here. I assume there's like one player that can like control everything and give like hints like, oh, watch out. Asteroids coming from there and whatnot, but right now I'm not really sure what I can do here. Oh, hold on. Oh. I think I'm moving the ship. Although, I have to be honest, I'm not quite sure how. Uh, I think I'm moving it with my thumb pad, but it's a little bit erratic. Whoa! Oh god, this is actually now... Oh, this is not good. This is really giving me some weird... Not motion sickness, but this is kind of... Oh god, this is a bit wild. I'm not yet sure how I'm controlling it. It's not controlling itself. For that, it's too weird how it moves. Although, right now, I'm not pressing anything. Now it dips and dives again. What the heck? It's also not... Is it my visual? My field of view? No, it's not. Um... Very strange. Okay. Let's go to the gun, I suppose. Very strange. Okay, I did not understand that cockpit sequence. Well, let's see if the fire will come on again. How predictable it is, so to speak. Also, if you're firing the gun, you really have to be careful. Because if you're pressing like this to fire, sometimes you'll come over the... You see the navigation thingy? And then it will pop up. So you have to leave your control like down at the bottom of your field of vision. Well, even then it can happen if you do like this, something like that. Maybe, but whoa, that was kind of close. <laughs> now what I'm wondering is, so far what we have seen, would you play that in non-VR? That's the question I'm I'm having right now. I'm not sure, you know, I think it's a good idea to have, if you can, a VR and non-VR version, if, they, if it doesn't make everything a little bit too complicated, but I wonder if there's any anybody who would play this in non-VR. It's just a question I'm throwing out there. I'm not sure about it. Because like this, this is kind of fun, you know, doing that, controlling guns with your mind, so to speak. That's fun. Yes. But, um, yeah, not 100% sure about this one. Let's, well, I think we'll, we'll try a little bit more here. I, it it kind of depends now what happens. If there's the fire again, I would really like to see something else. You know? 
And I really hope it won't crash again. That's kind of the, the thing right now. I'm not sure about the stability right now. We are coming out of the asteroid field. Okay, cool. I saw spacewalking. Oh god! Okay. Oh, okay, so this I can control now with fire, my... Fire. There's the fire again, okay. So here I can control forwards, backwards with um, with the thumb pad, and then with looking you basically change directions, right? So it's kind of cool, you can like explore your ship like that, I like this. Then here you can probably enter the ship again, yeah. But yeah, now we have to fire again in here. You know what? I would really like to walk around in here with the touchpad as well. That would be a little bit more interesting for me. Or a little bit more natural, so to speak. You know, I think I kind of see what they want to do with this game. Oh, space wall patch. No, that's not what I want to do. I think I can see the concept, you know, what they want to do. Um... What the plan is here? <laughs> what the heck? What does it say? I cannot even read that. Maybe it's um, deliberate that you cannot read it, but it looks funny. Alright. No fire in the art gallery! Well, <laughs> elevator up to the cockpit. How do you use these? Just like that? Oh, okay, I see. It's a bit weird with that quick navigation thing, but um, you know, now we can use this. Good, we got that. There's another elevator here. Oh, this brings us to the ship guns. Okay. Did you see how the elevator uh, reacted when we went downwards? Let's check that again. This? Like I'm falling, I, uh, the, the elevator goes faster down as I'm falling, somehow. Um, that's actually funny, in Space Engineers there was a, a elevator plug-in or an elevator add-on that added elevators as well. And it, they behave the exact same way. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny, but yeah. So, let's go to this thing. Probably one more fire somewhere. I cannot really see. Oh, there we go. All the fires have been extinguished successfully. Thank you. Oh, okay. But we're pretty damaged, so I don't think we're gonna get far here. Asteroid field detected straight ahead. Use so the it, ship guns and control the ship to avoid taking Right them. now, it seems like the sequence of things is always the same. I don't know. Well, well... We'll check out what happens after this, if we get do, um, through this attack this time. Or not, we'll see about that. And if it's fire after this again, then I think uh, we can quit. Because then it's pretty clear how this game functions. But uh, we'll see. We'll give this another chance, right? Fire away! You know, I can imagine if I had like three or four, I don't know how what's the maximum amount of players, but um, if I had several people with me now, like in, in Discord, TeamSpeak, and we would be like yelling at each other, Asteroids on three o'clock, repair the ship! Ah! You know, that could be really funny, I think. Um, again, um, comparing it a little bit to Guns of Icarus, because I've seen so funny videos from that game. That work exactly with that concept, like different stations on a ship, people that inhabited these stations. Um, yeah. That would be interesting, I think. So we're halfway through that storm. Let's see. I, I'm not sure last time when it crashed. It was a specific point. But I guess we'll see. Um... Because if it crashes about here again, then it's pretty sure that there's like a specific point where the game seems to be un unstable. Otherwise, it could be completely random. It could be my machine too. That's the problem with PC gaming. Sometimes it can be uh, your machine that causes the problem and not the game. It's very hard to say at, at certain points, you know? 
unless you can really isolate the issues and replicate it on like multiple PCs with multiple hardware. Before that, you cannot really say if it's a game issue or a hardware issue, but you know. Right now, it, need, it seems to be stable, which is a good thing. And we don't have to do too much more of these asteroids. We'll soon enter the last phase. I wonder if these phases, because they have different colors, if they're like different intensity. It's kind of hard to say right now. But, um... Yeah, there we go, last phase. Or if it's just basically for you to kind of differentiate between uh, the phases or between how much time has passed on this attack. Did you hear that beeping sound? What was that? Oh, that's part of the music. I got it. Okay. Yes. Asteroid destroys storm. In storm inhaler. Whatever that was. I get a lot of achievements here. I have to check it out what these are. Probably somehow progression based, I assume. 105. Oh, probably over 100 asteroids destroyed. We are coming out of the asteroid field. Ultra asteroid savior. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens now. Let's go back to the hatch. Large asteroid detected. Brace what? for impact. Brace for impact? Where? Oh! The service propulsion engine nozzles have been damaged. Evacuate the spaceship. Find the right tool near the damaged parts and repair the tool. Alright, so I guess we have to repair the parts. Find oh, Jesus, tool. look at this. Take spacewalk outside and find, find tool to fix engine. Oh, oh, there's something. Yes. Okay, um, well, what are, we do what are we doing now? I like the, look how cool that looks, the asteroid embedded in the freaking spaceship. Now that looks very cool. Visually, I, I kind of like this game, I have to say. How the spaceship looks, you know, and everything, but I'm not 100% clear on what, how to proceed now. Yeah, the ship is getting damaged. So far, I have... Not that much of a clue what I'm supposed to do here. Red light? Nope. Do we need to go inside now? Wonder. No, I'm pretty sure we need to do this in spacewalk mode. Oh! Oh no, this is enter the ship. Okay. There's also an enter the ship. Let's back off a little bit and see if we find something. There's like a blue flame over there that looks a little bit suspicious. Shall go over there. Find tool to fix engine. Oh, I can also teleport outside. Okay. If I have a... Whoa! A specific part to go to, I suppose. Like so. Uh, yeah! Um, instructions unclear. Got tool stuck in, uh, in the space engine. Very, very strange. I'm not really sure how to proceed here. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh yeah, I clicked on the menu again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to fix this somehow, but I'm not 100% clear how. <laughs> and my ship is saying ouch. I find that one of the most funniest parts. That the ship is, is, is saying ouch. Hmm? Machinist repairing our engine. Is that a clue? <laughs> Yep, you see these? I think these are the engines. And I have this perpetually turning wrench thingy in my hand, so. 
I would assume I need to go somewhere to apply said wrench. Yet, I'm not 100% clear on where that would be. <laughs> now, from a logical standpoint, it must be the spacewalk, technically speaking, because we have one minigame where we um, basically uh, use the guns. We have one minigame where we have to um, navigate inside of the spaceship, and therefore I would assume we need to have one, um, oh, engine nozzles are at the front. What? Front, back, engine nozzles. Okay. I mean... Oh, you see that ball thingy? Is it, is that... Is it that? It does seem to be dangling in space. The thing is, I, I really think this could be extremely... Oh! That looked weird, that loaded in just now. I was... I wanted to say, did I now fix that? But no. This could be very interesting to find, you know, damaged parts and to repair them, but I think a little bit more help would be appreciated in actually finding the damaged parts. Because these are clearly the engines, right? Find tool to fix engine. I found the tool, didn't I? Do I have to fly in here? I'm clicking. I'm... No, I'm not really getting anywhere like this. I mean, it's kind of cool that the asteroid is, is launched in here, but I... I do not see how I, I, I supposed to repair this. Down here, perhaps? No. Not really. Hmm. Mysterious, indeed. Can we see where the cockpit is? Our ship is about to explode, but... I guess the cockpit is up there-ish? Oh no, probably... Here? I don't know. Our ship is pretty much done. Um, well... I don't seem to be a skilled enough repairman to, um, to fix that issue. I'm very sorry. <laughs> And I'm dead. Narrow legged benzene master. There we go. Um, your expedition score time 17 minutes. Shots fired. Asteroids destroyed. Social score. I guess this is when you play with others, but. Mission failed. Oh well. Huh. Okay. Um, well. I guess we will leave it for today, but um, let me let me gather my thoughts here real quick. So let me tell you something some things I like about this. I like the concept because again, it reminds me a bit of like Guns of Icarus with the um, several people on a ship controlling different aspects of a ship. I like that. I like the ship's design. I like how it looks, you know, especially the exterior, you know, the model of the ship, and when asteroids crash into it. That looks cool. Um, controls simple enough, I guess. Um, there is, there are some problems with this. I, I think right now this is not interesting enough, you know, because I started it twice now, and the the um, the sequence of what goes wrong is always the same, which basically means if you played it once. You kind of, if you have a, a, like a good team, you can like station people exactly where the fires are going to break out. And if you figure out how the spacewalk thing goes, it, it, I have the feeling it would get way too easy. And then the, the asteroid portions are just basically a time waster for you, you know, because 
what are the chances that the asteroids are really going to hit you if you're three players with controlling all three guns? So, yeah. Um, another thing that I think they sh should think about is um, a little bit more tutorial, a little bit more help, you know? Especially with that spacewalk thing. Maybe I'm just not smart enough to get that, but I had no idea what to do. Um, I mean, the fighting the fires, I think that's okay. I'm not quite sure. I thought they are always at like the same spots, which is a little bit one-dimensional. Uh, maybe you randomize the spots a bit more. Maybe they were randomized. I have to check um, after this. But I, I think the key here is randomize a little bit more. Give us a little bit more different challenges in different um, in in different orders. You know, in different magnitudes and. I think this game has potential, you know, maybe um, between the different challenges, if there would be something you could do, maybe, you know, you could try to fix the ship, give it a little bit more health, or maybe you could upgrade the ship, you know, better guns or something like that. That could be very interesting. I think there is a room for improvement here. Um, right now, I, I wouldn't say I, uh, this game is bad, but uh, I couldn't recommend it at this state right now. I think it needs a little bit more something, right? Uh, the crash, I, I will put this aside as a random thing that happened because of PC setup. Because it just happened once, it didn't happen always um, at the same time, um, you know? So I think that was pretty much randomness. I had that happen with other games too, so I don't really count as a negative point, but yeah. As I said, I think there needs to be a little bit more things done here. Um, also, for example, the cockpit scene, I had no idea what I was doing in there. A little bit more tips, a little bit more tutorial, maybe even like a tutorial level where you can try out things before the asteroid craziness starts. Because basically you have no time to explore the ship. You get thrown in there and immediately there is danger. which. I guess some people like, but I would like to have like a little bit of time to settle in and figure things out, right? So yeah, um, I like that there's a um, desktop and VR version. I think that is cool. I'm not always in the mood to play VR. That's just how it is. So sometimes if I have the option to just sit down and do some normal desktop version, I, I think that's a plus in any way, shape or form. All right, um, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was Odyssey VR um, on VR Sunday. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.